So what we found is throughout billions of emails that we've sent, a sequence that talks about a gain, then addresses some logic, and then stirs up some emotional fears, that sequence is the sequence that works the best. So then we create meta messages. And what meta messages look like are kind of an overarching message that we can create lots of messages from. So think of it like a print merge almost, right? And this is why this is good for people who don't know how to write copy, because it just helps them get an idea of what they need. So our meta message here is, and you can see over here on the right, we have the things that are in the script sheet. So our meta message is, how will your friend feel when prospect, our two something prospect hates to something prospect loves, when life event because prospect blank need not meet met. That doesn't sound very interesting right now, but let's put it into messages from all of the things that we know that we discovered from filling out that script sheet. Now it becomes how will your kids feel when you're too tired to spend time with them when you get home from work because you didn't get enough sleep the night before? How will your wife feel when you are too stressed out to have a romantic evening when it's date night because you were up all night the night before? How will your friends feel when you're too short-tempered to leave their kids at your house, when it's your child's birthday party because you toss and turn all night, never really getting to sleep for more than a few hours. You can create all of these messages that you might not have thought of before that meet your client where they live in the buying process and the consideration process just by creating the sheets, okay? Or this, tired of being too tired all the time because you can't sleep? Want to sleep well without prescription meds or side effects? Try our product today, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, this really can help you get past the messaging block to start thinking differently about different ways to approach your prospect with different types of messages, okay? And you can literally create dozens and dozens of messages using that. And then I'll give you a blank one so that you guys can do this too, okay? Next, we want to sequence these messages to maximize conversions. So what we've found is throughout billions of emails that we've sent, a sequence that talks about a gain, then addresses some logic, and then stirs up some emotional fears, that sequence is the sequence that works the best. So we created a multi-touch messaging matrix that allows you 1,728 different types of gain, logic, fear sequences, and it looks like this. So what's fun about this is now you can see all the things in green are gain things. We're going to be talking about self-interest and personal. And SPADES is just a, um, an acronym for self-interest, personal authority, data, events, and stories. Okay, so those are the, the uh, six types of messages we're going to create. And under each of those is another six. So for self-interest in the gain section, let's talk about status, black cards, Rolls Royces, things like that. Or how to get more for referring, how to have an exclusive invite, supplies are running out. This is new, the new, new thing. The number one reason people buy a house or a car is they're tired of the old one, okay? New is a big, big deal. Um, and then you go to personal. So quizzes, surveys, curiosity, those things, we found those are very, very great on the front end for generating interest. And then down to um, inclusion in a niche or movements, uh, charitable things like Tom's shoes, those are all personal. Um, confessions or some sort of vulnerability. Um, the Blues Brothers, we're on a mission from God. Or, um, hey, help me out. Help me out, right? So those are the gain messages. The authority messages, Perry, in his secret selling system, which I highly recommend you guys all go through, has a concept he calls a Buddha, a big, undeniable, dominant authority. So that'd be like... NASA. NASA says, and I think uh, Tempur-Pedic used NASA, right? That you want to you know, get the bed that NASA had said was good enough for the astronauts to sleep on. So under the authority, celebrities, Buddhas, big dominant authorities, the Joneses, who you want to keep up with, or if you don't, your client does, uh, your prospect, experts, which would be op-eds, rants, how-tos, expert endorsements or demonstrations, and then testimonials, particularly testimonials from people that the buyer believes in status or situation are worse off than you are, right? Worse off than they are right now. 
those testimonials mean more than a testimonial from Richard Branson saying, I was able to make $20 last week, okay? Then data, uh, results in advance, giving them the ability to experience data firsthand, which is results in advance, nothing more powerful than that. Uh, case studies, social proof, new data. Hey, this is something new. Again, new, but now new data, not a new thing for you to consume. Truth about white paper and then breakthroughs. These are all logic. So we're getting the logical brain here. And then we're going to go emotional at the end with events and stories. So events, holidays, controversies, personal events. Flash sale is an event. A premium is event. Uh, and then stories uh, like, uh, and, and my favorite here is, is story jacking, where we actually go and use someone else's story to advance our interest. So I gave in my talk the other day the story that Moleskine used to build a $500 billion company, which was they just jacked the story for their leather notebook from history. Hemingway used a notebook. Did he use a Moleskine notebook? No. Picasso did. How about him? No. Van Gogh cut his ear off and he bled on his Moleskine notebook. No, he didn't, right? He didn't. He, uh, he just had a notebook. But they spun a story from history to create a company that ultimately was able to sell things for way more than anybody else was. The other example of story jacking would be, so Perry was watching Ellen, uh, the Ellen DeGeneres show, and he saw her interviewing a person who had gone through a flood, and she was, she was offered the chance to evacuate once the water came up to the roof of her house, and she was on the roof of, a, of her house with water all around, and she was holding her dog, and the people that came up to rescue her said, we can rescue you, but you have to leave the dog. An amazingly cruel person to say that to me, no matter what, but that's what they said. And she said, no, I'm not going without my dog. So she stayed, and the water kept rising and rising, and she ultimately climbed up on the top of her chimney, and she has her dog on the top of the chimney, and some guy comes by on a jet ski and says, hop on. And she says, I want to be able to take my dog. He says, no problem, bring the dog. She jumps on, but her... her uh, dress catches on one of the, I think it's a bird guard or something, on top of the chimney, and she's stuck there in between getting on the thing that's going to take her and save her life and being stuck there to die. And the guy whips out a knife and cuts off the part of the dress that is stuck and then takes her away to safety. And so Ellen's interviewing her about that experience and everything. So Perry writes a letter and what do you think Perry sells? A knife. He tells the whole story. It's not our story, right? But we sold millions of dollars of knives using somebody else's story that we jacked, right? Nothing wrong with that. Ellen jacked her story too, right? And it, it was entertaining and told people. So think about... How can you use other people's stories, because stories are everything, and newsjacking, storyjacking, uh, hero's journey stories, uh, beating a bully, fighting a big enemy, and winning. Uh, Blair Warren, if you Google uh, Blair Warren one-sentence persuasion, it is the um, embodiment of a lot of study that he did on how cults get people to actually convert and do things that they might not want to do. And then future pacing where you're saying, telling a story about imagine how you'll feel when you come home to your beautiful house and blah, 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 blah. Okay, future pacing that. So creating messages using this matrix gives you a tremendous amount of, of flexibility in creating stories. Uh -huh.